Yeah, well, I couldn't miss him as a boy. He was a very good student of mine. So, yeah. uh, thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, um, colleagues. Good afternoon um, to the HOD, to the chief director, to all the um, uh, big people who are here, and all protocol observers. Colleagues, uh, I'm glad I didn't follow Mr. Nkiza here, Kavazela and Sarah, you are, you are correct, our presentations are, are, are a bit boring, but that's what, that's the mandate to be we were given. Uh, my name is Mutlan Tlamtiane, and I was at, 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 at UKZN as well, but now I'm saying it's a GMT. And uh, my, my role here um, is that of, there is that of, of an HOD, so um, none of the, the staff who are teaching mathematics could be could, could come here today because uh, we are on holiday and people just thought hey, just said hey, you know the timing of the department was not was not good. This is our time. Sorry, sorry, Dr. Tiani, we can't come. So I had to come. Oops. Sorry. But anyway, um, I think, I think the mandate that we were given was to talk about the prerequisites uh, to enter into our programs and to talk about the curriculum offered for this in-service training. And I'm going to talk about the first one, but the second one that Sarah went into in detail, I, 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 didn't, I didn't prepare that one, I'm just going to send to the department. And instead of it, I'm just going to talk about what we have done, what we are doing to strengthen the quality of um, our graduates, uh, mathematics education teachers, our student teachers of, of, of mathematics, uh, the teachers that we produce, the teachers of mathematics, because like you, we are very worried because even for us, mathematics is core, mathematics is a priority, and for DUT, mathematics is at the center of what they do. Um, our, our a strategy as DUTs and Vision 2030, and uh, our our VC was in the newspapers a couple of weeks ago because he was giving the state of the university address, and where he spoke at length about the direction that our university is taking, and our our our, our strategy or our objectives are or. or, or you know, the vision of, of the university is, it looks as it as a contributor towards a change in society, which South Africa is. And it aims to produce adaptive graduates who will initiate and drive transformation in their communities and society. And it focuses or it foregrounds creativity, innovation, and entrepreneurship. And all of us in all our programs who are being asked in what way are your graduates going to contribute towards tra transforming society? What are some of the, what are the key societal challenges that you are grappling with or that you are addressing in your, in your programs, be it in teacher education or in whatever? And um, a, a DUT focuses on innovation, creativity, and entrepreneurship. And, and mathematics, STEM education is at the center. So even us, even though we are humanities, uh, we are very clear that our focus should be in producing teachers who are in science, uh, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So if you look at science, if you look at engineering, if you look at uh, uh, technology subjects, uh, even your accounting, your EMS, mathematics is at the center. So mathematics is, is, is core to what, to, what, to, uh, to what we are doing. So just quickly going through the programs that we are offering our department, our school is not as big as uh, the UK's and School of Education, so I'll quickly go through the programs that we are offering. Our biggest program is the B8. We're looking at, we're offering the B8 senior phase and FET teaching. And whilst, as Sarah said, they, their specializations are one FET subject and two senior phase sub teaching subjects, we are the opposite. Our students come up with, come out with two FET subjects and one senior phase. So a student would come out with mathematics, physical science, and then natural science, or come out with civil technology, maybe engineering, graphics, and design and then technology as a, as a, as a, as a, senior, as a senior phase. 
uh, subject. So our, our, our budget of education is very, uh, we're very selective because we are located in a, in a university of technology. So we don't offer everything. We are, our, our curriculum is aligned to what, to, what the, to what the university of technology is offering. And therefore, our B Ed is offering, is, is focusing on the natural sciences, of which our subjects are physical science, mathematics, life sciences, and uh, IT, and then you are offering technology, the technology subjects which are you know, electrical, civil, and mechanical technology, and your engineering, graphics, and design, and uh, lately we've introduced technical science, technical mathematics, and, um, and mathematics. Mathematics is part, very much part of that stream. And then we have economic and management sciences, which are accounting, economics, and business studies, and mathematics. So mathematics cuts across three of our of our of our specializations that we are offering. And we have recently introduced the languages, which we were told that um, because we argue that languages are really important, and as a country, we you know we can't not offer languages, but we're told that we should not become a school of education of the languages. So languages are there, but we are keeping our 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 our, our admissions. So admissions a very small part of our 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 B Ed offering, but we are offering languages as well. So we have B Ed honors in technology education. So because a, a DUT again is located in the in the in the, in the University of Technology, it's got a very strong focus on, on science, you know, uh, science education and the education of the, in, the tech, in the technology or the technical subject. So the, the honors that we have is that of the honors, big honors in technology education. And we've introduced the advanced diploma in technical and vocational teaching. Because again, we see our niche as that of uh, we, are, we, we are wanting to specialize in the technical vocational teacher education. So we are strengthening that, that kind of niche. We are located at the Indomiso campus next to the Places Le, a, a, a TVET college surrounded by a number of, of, number of technical high schools. So we are, we, we are really strengthening and taking advantage of that, but also reaching out to the, you know, all the technical uh, uh, high schools in, in, in case and in, in wanting to strengthen and to maximize our relationship with uh, uh, general high schools, but also with technical and, and uh, technical high schools and Tibet colleges. And then we've introduced the PGD in higher education, which looks into the training of um, you know, the, the academics, because we all know that we've been trained, we all have degrees, but we know how bad university teachers are, university lecturers are, because they were never trained as teachers. So, you know, uh, uh, many of us who went to university, you do your science subjects in the science faculty, and then you do your education in the, in the education, and once you start doing your methods, in the, in the education department, you go back to your science department, you see how bad your, your, your zoology lecturer is, or your chemistry lecturer is, or your mathematics lecturer is, because now you, you, you begin to, under, begin to understand what it means to be a teacher. And, and most of the time, especially in the sciences, when students fail, you know, the, the, the lecturers, the academics would always blame the students and say, they are poor, they, 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 they come with, with gaps. But you know, the question is, what are you doing as an academic? Because you also have a responsibility. You know, how are you teaching them? You know, and, and because academics think they've got to theorize and, and do the abstract things and never bother to think about the pedagogy, because it's also important even at university. So we, we are venturing into, into this PGD because we are saying, Academics also need to think about how they teach, because why are students failing in the STEM subjects? You know, okay, they come with gaps from high schools, but also it's contributed by the, you know, the no care attitude of academics, where they don't feel guilty when students fail, because they blame them, because they say it's their fault, and they don't do anything to try and, 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 and mediate 
you know. So, so, so we, we've introduced the PGT in higher education, and we've got um, a unit that's attached to us, that's the adult and community education unit, that is, that is also looking, venturing into the adult and community education training. So we are offering the advanced diploma in adult and community education training, and soon we'll be uh, offering the postgraduate diploma in, in, in adult and community education training. And for all of these, except for the PGT, all of these programs that we're offering, mathematics is key. You know, even for the BA honors, because they, they, you know, they come through the BA and they, they major in technology, in taking technology subjects. So mathematics is key for all of them. They offer, they offer mathematics. But okay, so it's the BA, it's the minimum requirements which I was, I was asked to speak about. So basically, for our BA senior phase, the natural sciences. For the natural sciences, one of the things that we're trying to do is to is to is to open up access into our programs by accepting students from the Tibet colleges. So we're accepting students with N6 and NCV to our VA. Uh, uh, so we've got those admission requirements that, that are N6 and NCV. So students with an N6, because sometimes students come to us that have failed mathematics. So when a student comes to us with good, you know, the other, the other, the other, the other subjects are fine, but mathematics is bad, and sometimes physical science is bad. So we say go to a, a Tibet college and you know do N4 or N6 or whatever. So when they come and and they they, they must have obtained 60%. We've got very clear specifications, but we do accept students that have got N6 in the subjects that are related to what we're offering. So for natural sciences, the N6 must be in sciences, science and mathematics. So, so basically it's, it's level four, mathematics level four in English, and level four in, in life science or biology. But also we accept students with NCV and students with N6. So civil technology, the same thing, I think it's a big item pick up. Um, but I'm just going to go through. Again, here we are wanting students who are coming with, with a level 4 English, a level 4 in, in, in mathematics. I want to say that. I want to explain some. Yeah. Okay, Mathem level 4 in, in the civil, civil uh, technology subjects like your technical science, your civil services, your construction, your woodworking, and then mathematics or technical mathematics, or mathematical literacy level five, or 60% N6 student, or those who did prior to metric prior to 2008 must have those subjects. Electrical technology, those are the subjects uh, digital systems, electronics, power systems, and physical sciences. For electrical technology, we need pure mathematics or technical mathematics. And then for N6, we need 60% in all the subjects that are related to electrical technology. For mechanical technology, we need those subjects that are related to mechanical technology, automotive fitting, welding, machining, and metal work. And 60% for N6, we need 60% in all those subjects. And we need mathematics level four, or technical mathematics, or mathematics like literacy level five. And we need physical science, or technical science level four. So, so I said I'm, I'm not going to talk about you know the curriculum and the credits and so on. I'm just going to talk about uh, what are we, or what are we doing uh, to promote access and articulation? In, 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 when looking at mathematics as a gateway subject, what efforts are we doing to promote access and articulation into our program? Into our pro, into our program? What, what alternative admission routes have we looked into? One, we're accepting students, as you have seen, we're accepting students with N6 
from Tibet colleges into our BA. So for us, that's one way of opening up access into our BA by saying we're not just looking at students' uh, metric results, but we're also looking at those students who have gone to the to the Tibet colleges and have gone through the, the N1, N2, N3, N4, N5, N6. But also, we, we accepting students who go through the mature age route and we give special attention to those, we've got our criteria, of course, not everybody who's above 23, but we pay particular attention to people who we see, we, we, we see can qualify to become mathematics and science teachers because we understand that, you know, we, there's a scarcity of, of mathematics teachers and there are quite good people, good, you know, like, you know, a 35-year-old who's been teaching, volunteering in, in the rural areas, matriculated so many years ago and did this and did that. And when you look at the CV and you look at the criteria that we have, you can see that this person can actually become a good mathematics teacher if they're given an opportunity. So that's, that's one of the ways we are trying to open up access and, 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 and you know, you know, admit people have an alternate route into the B8. And in 2024, we are planning to um, leverage on another mathematics department within the university that's already offering a higher certificate in, in mathematics mathematics and physical science. In fact, it's a mathematics department, so their focus is mathematics. And what they're doing, they're offering, they're offering a higher certificate that is at NQF level 5. But they, they've been working with the engineering department uh, and, and they already have you know, an agreement with the engineering department. But we're partnering with them to say, when they take these students and uh, who've got uh, threes in, in, in mathematics and threes in technical maths and th threes in you know, mathematics and physical science, we are changing our rules because we've got to apply to Senate. You, know, you can't just say, if you've done this higher certificate, then you can come into the B8. We've got to follow, we've got to get, you know, follow the university structures and, 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 and have it accepted. You know, make an argument to say, why are we wanting to, to accept someone, you know, that have come through a, a, a higher certificate into our program. But we feel, you know, that's one of the ways in which we are accepting, you know, that we open access. And of course, universities don't want that because the, it's, got, it's got financial implications. When a student comes in that, have, that has done a, a higher certificate, for example, they come into doing a first year, the university will say that student doesn't count as an F10, as a first time entering student, and therefore doesn't attract the subsidy that the university wants. So if, if the university has an enrollment target and we are told a, a B8, you've got to enroll 350 students. And then out of the 350, we want to take 20 students from, from, through, through these alternate rules that I've, that I've said, you know, either from the Tibet College, or especially from the Tibet Colleges and from the, from the, from, 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 from uh, the, 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 the higher certificate, then the university will say those students don't count towards your enrollment, uh, your enrollment uh, uh, targets. You can take 20, but we don't quite count them, you know, because they are not attracting the subsidy for us. So, so we do it at our own risk. We do it because we know that science maths and science teachers are needed out there, but for us it's a disadvantage because we still need to attract 20 more students in their place, otherwise we, as we, will say, we will be said to be to have under-enrolled. We can't count them. So, so in as much as you want to take these other students, but you also have to think about the university and all these funding mechanisms and funding formulas and, and who counts as a, a first-time enrollment student and who's bringing money into the university and all that. But nevertheless, you know, those are some of the, of the, of the ways we are trying to to open up access, especially for mathematics teachers. In conclusion, I just want to say, um, one of the things we've, we've done since 2021 when I took over is, is to look very critically at our mathematics education. Because we've, we've, we've actually are, 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 are doing, a, in the process of recalculation, I think, oh, Mr. Trabani spoke about, actually said to us, universities, 
you are actually not giving us what we want. And, and that is so true. We've, when I took over, we sort of had had a lot of feedback from our stakeholders. They were telling us that our mathematics graduates in particular were not performing at the level that they were expected to perform out there in schools. And our, 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 our VC is a mathematician, is a mathematics major, is a mathematics professor, and he called us and said, School of Education, I'm not going to mess up my subject. My subject. So he commissioned, he commissioned a, 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 what is it? a review of the mathematics education in the School of Education, appointed an independent panel headed by a professor of mathematics from the University of Western Cape. And uh, uh, I know uh, someone from the Department of Education, Provincial Department of Education was, 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 a, was appointed as a member of panel had, you know, in terms of, a, 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 you know, in some, some terms of, of what, what are they called? Terms of, yeah, terms of reference to actually review our, our math education, um, our math education curriculum to look at the content, to look at coherence, to look at everything. So since then, we've engaged in the process of curriculum renewal, curriculum restructuring, and, 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 and just this year we are focusing on the quality of the curriculum. So last year we did a whole restructuring of the curriculum and introduced the methodology because the old curriculum didn't have a methodology. So we introduced the methodology, but this year we are focusing on the quality, looking at the, the best practices. So we're creating those uh, 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 communities of practice of teacher educators. So the, 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 sci the math and science team is meeting regularly to reflect on what, is the, what, are the, what are the challenges that are facing us. So we've had a lot of data that has been collected and a number of issues are coming up as, as challenges to both students and lecturers. And a few, and a few, I've just, I've just highlighted a few, and one of them is the issue of language. The issue that is coming out from both students, student teachers and lecturers is the issue of language in mathematics. You know, lecturers are, 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 are complaining that students are not understanding the mathematics concepts. Students, there are concepts that you cannot explain in a language. And we're talking about, there's a sharing of ideas to say, how then do we, are you explaining these things? And, and some of the, one of the, one of our very strong young lecturers is saying, she's finding that using technology to actually demonstrate, Dr. Moore, to actually demonstrate what, you know, these, some of these concepts. Okay. Okay. To, to actually, okay. Okay, okay, now I'm told, I'm, I'm told to, 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 to wind up my, my presentation because the, because the MEC is coming in. But actually, yeah, to say, I just wanted to say, so we are, we are actually looking at the issues of quality within our, within our teaching and learning because we want to improve the quality of our, of our, of our graduates that we are producing. Thank you very much, colleagues.